Hey guys, Eric Gorno here with Performance Golf. To my right, the Hall of Famer, Mr. Rick Smith. Rick, thanks for being on here today. Great man. seeing you. Appreciate you. Pumped for today's video, we got a really cool drill. Might be a little weird for some of you at first, but works really, really good. We're talking how to hit the ball solid, compressing your irons, and a drill you can use that's really simple to get the feels we're all looking for down through, uh, let's say to and through the ball, through impact. Um, so Rick, I saw you do a video with this drill. And again, it's something I haven't really spent a lot of time with. So I'm curious myself, um, this cross-handed drill, can you kind of walk us through how that works and the benefits of it? It does four great things. And, and I'm a field guy, I'm a field player, I'm a field teacher. So I like creating fields that help me to develop a swing that is sound yep. and doesn't have a lot of thought to it, right? We so like I that. think, don't we all want that? Yeah. All right, so. Rick, you should hop up to the ball and show us this way. If you could show us uh, aiming this way, just to the see. The first it, yeah. benefit of feeling left hand lower this way, cross-handed, normally, obviously, left hand's on top, right hand's here. What happens immediately, the first move off the ball feels less of that think about that right yeah okay and then when you get to here and you get to the top look at how straight my lead arm is and you can see that i'm feeling great width here which most people go to the top and they're like this right and they have no feeling of that so not only is it great here but it's great at the top now great benefit here we go yeah as i start down and move my weight and shift to the left before i start turning where is my right elbow? It's here. Back in front, yeah. The thrower goes like okay. this. Right arm is out here. Yes. So this feel is like, wait, I'm feeling wide and I'm feeling this. That's the opposite of the throw. Yeah, I love it. So that. here I go back. Here, I start to work down. Wow, that feels really good. Now, yeah. as I start to get to impact, what's this benefit? Well, I've got a ton of lean. Yep. But look at my right wrist. My right wrist is here, and that's the pressure that you see with great players. Yeah. The palm's pushing down. If you're a slicer, scooper, high, weak, you're this way. Your hand looks like this. Yeah. And the wrist that. is in the wrong spot. So it's killing all these birds with really one stone, and it's as good as it gets. I would like you to keep going, but I have to try this. Let me hop down. No, go ahead. Spots Absolutely. Here. Left hand, Chris. Okay, so <clears throat> this, this would be my normal grip. So we're saying just... Pull my trail hand up, put my lead hand underneath it. Yes. And just like baseball style. Yeah. Okay. And you don't have to hit balls. You know, you, you're just going to get a sense and feel. Notice the face. Gosh, I didn't even think about the takeaway. Didn't it feel that. amazing? Yeah. It's not yeah, rolling I didn't off. Even think about yeah, that. Yeah, it's great there. It's so, great at the top. Gosh, that really helps. Okay, I wasn't even thinking about that, but that really helps me here. And then from here to the top. Look at your width. Big width. So it keeps that lead arm straight or the right arm kind of sort of yes, pushed it away. Does. Now watch it down. Look at the elbow. Where is it? Elbows it's, in front. It's in front of your body. It's Shaft is like side. pitch good. Yeah. And then as I'm coming through here, I assume, you know, because I can see a lot of people coming through and be like. Right. You know, Face is open. Look at the back of the hand squaring up. But look at your right wrist. Yeah. And from face on, look at the lean that you have naturally. But look at this right wrist position here, Eric, because nobody's there. The yeah. great ones, they're all there. The greatest iron players in the world, they're all there. And That's so what they look like. If someone's struggling with ball striking, they probably don't hit any four of those, but no. they're certainly not into those same looks to there and there. They're not even close. You said they're kind of this way. Yeah, yeah. Too much throw. So split hand grip. And when they're doing this in the beginning, Rick, kind of going slow through the positions yes. to feel. Yes. And then and then turning it into more of a motion, I would assume, as we go. Yeah, and you don't have to hit balls. You know, you saw Ricky Fowler hit the cross-handed stuff and he was ripping it. I, I suggest for the common golfer though, yeah. just to go to just post impact and stop and then go back up and go there again. That's kind of in the here. feel, yeah. And then do it again going back and go right to there and you're done because you're gonna scoop if you don't. Some of the feels I had, like if I was just like, this is my first time doing it, which it is, what I feel compared to normal I wasn't expecting the takeaway differences, so that's kind of mm. surprising me a little bit. There's no roll. There's no roll. So I, I feel when I'm doing that. Beautiful. My lead arm is sort of like, almost like my hand's arm's working away from the target more than it normally would. Maybe yeah. I'm more this way. That's right. So that feels a little bit different to normal. Good. I also really notice uh, the trail arm piece. It's folded and close to the body. Most people are making the mistake 
trying to get the elbow in going back and then they get wider on the way down. Yeah, which is okay. a strong way to do it. So I feel a little bit more kind of width here. Beautiful. I feel the right wrist being bent back with a little bit of squaring of the face through impact. And don't you feel that right wrist almost smashing? It's powerful. It's smashing this way. And yeah. it's de-lofting, not adding loft. That's yeah, most what the great iron players do. Let me strike one here. Okay, Rick. Let's We're do a little it. eight iron out. Can of you the feel tower. that feeling? Yep. Feel what feel the you same just did, thing. and then Maybe feel one feel one. Good, and then go to your normal grip and hit it. Okay. Okay. Feel those things happening. Give me the cross hand. Give me the Rick That's Juju here. That's solid. I hit that very. Good. That was my best one of the day. That was really solid. Look at this divot up here. I mean, it started three, four inches past the ball. Did you feel your right wrist almost pressuring this way? I totally felt my right wrist pressuring forward. I also, not to be a, be a broken record there, sure. I really feel like the, the most noticeable thing for me is this takeaway I, feels I like it. I get the Y. You got you right? got a first Y. Yes, yeah, so I'm more here. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And then you're feeling all the right stuff in transition. You got width and then it narrows naturally just with your weight mo moving left. Yeah, and the right really elbow working in the side. The wrist angles through the ball too, that feels Really good. Looks Let me try really one good. more. So full swing eight iron, same feels. Yeah, that was really solid too, that's Rick. Solid. It's a great swing. Gosh, I like those. And that's something that like, you know, gosh, golf, there's so many different drills and feels. And like Rick mentioned, you could even do this without a club, right? Absolutely. You can do this without hitting a ball. You do cross arm. You take the right hand underneath the left and you do this. And you talk about flexibility. Even if you don't feel it in your swing, you're, you're getting a great stretch. You're going walking through an airport like this, yeah. right hand under, you turn back, look at the stretch, and come back to impact. You can do it without hitting balls. I like Which that, I right? love, because I don't have time to hit a lot of balls. Yeah, and I think a lot of them feel the same way. They're like, how can I get as good as possible in sort of the shortest period of time? Cross hand grip maybe looks a little bit funky if you haven't tried that before. I really like that. I really like the way that gives me the takeaway feel, the right arm, um, the through impact piece. So if you're looking for solid ball striking, Feels that are easy to take out to the range and on the golf course, yeah. give that a go. And if you like this from Rick, the first link in the description down below is his perfect impact program he just put together. There's 50 videos, just like we filmed today, talking you through all things golf swing to help your game. And it's literally $47. That's such a crazy, unbelievable <laughs> deal. And not only do you get that, when you sign up for the first time with Performance Golf, you get a full month of online coaching with Rick and his team. The swing evaluation's completely free of charge. They can guide you through how to do all this stuff. Crazy deal. Hope you guys take advantage. First link in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching.